My story for owning land or investing in land is, a, is probably different than most folks. In 2005, we went public at Under Armour. And that was like an event that changed my life. And I was terrified, to be honest with you. And I remember my father and my grandfather and people I trusted always said things like, you can't go wrong with land. And along the way, I found this place in Pennsylvania that absolutely blew my mind away. The size and shape for something on the East Coast was like anything I had ever seen. So I invested in North Fork. North Fork is nestled in the Allegheny National Forest. So if you look at the property, it's, it's roughly stuck into 35, 40,000 acres. And the Allegheny Forest is hundreds of thousands of acres. So the topography is really, really cool. It is, is seven ridges that all lead into one stream. They all have their own little stream. And it's, it's just ridge top after ridge top after ridge top with some good bottom land. And then on the top of the ridges is some flat open areas that we've now put in some food plots and developed some things for the, for the wildlife. But it really is a mountainous property. And I think uh, some folks that are looking for that big farm field, we have enough food plots to keep the deer happy, but we don't have those 500 acre open flat fields. This is Mountains 101 and the deer love it. And it's fun to watch the game use the terrain, but it is really a mountainous property stuck in the Allegheny National Forest. In North Central PA, uh, sunlight is uh, critical for growing food plots. So we take advantage of the ridge tops and we tend to go with a good mix of hardy clovers, red clover, durana clover, mixed in with turnips, radishes, things that are gonna blossom when the deer need it the most. And then we augment that with the natural brows so we do selective cuts that they have plenty of other food. And then really the beech nut and the acorns become a staple. So we have a ton of beech, a good crop of acorns. On top of our food plots, the deer really have something year round. All these little areas for the bucks to stop in or the does, and they feel very comfortable because they're all very secluded. And every plot was designed around the wind. How do we get in? How do we get out? The road systems, because we've managed the property and because there's been timber activities, I think we have 75 miles of roads. You can get in and out very easily. There's plenty of bears in this area. Quality bear at North Fork, anything over 200 pounds is a really nice bear. We've shot some 310s, some 280s, some nice mature boars. Something that we haven't touched on that is probably the most impressive part of the property is the turkey. Easterns, they're huge, they're wily, they're tough to hunt, and there are tons of them. And as we've managed the food plots and the timber cuts, the turkeys have done unbelievable. The property really has three main buildings. It has a garage building, which is your typical garage building, tools, equipment, storage, and then it has a main lodge with two gorgeous fireplaces and it can sleep about 30 to 40 people. And then it has a kitchen house that can sleep 10 to 15 and house huge dining with, it used to be a commercial kitchen. I've had a full-time caretaker on the property my entire ownership. So we have had someone on the property nonstop. So when I bought the property, I put in all new windows, all new roofs, I insulated all the buildings, updated all the mechanicals. So we really modernized, but I wanted to keep the heritage look. So it looks classic and old, but all the guts are new. And really, if someone wanted to build their own lodge or an owner's residence or a log cabin, we have one of the most amazing views and a road that's ready for it. 
I struggled every year to build something new because I enjoyed the old lodge so much. And uh, it's well taken care of, but it is rustic. One of the coolest things about the property is the ski chalet. And it has an old school ski chalet, kind of an A-frame style with big windows and it overlooks this big hill. And the Stackpole Corporation put in a ski lift. The lift doesn't work anymore. We make the kids walk up or we drive, drive them up with a four-wheeler, but it is one hell of a ski slope or a sled hill. And then on the top of the old trap range is we have a great skeet range, fully operational, and you can shoot skeet for hours with a gorgeous view. So, and it has a little cabin with a fireplace right next to the skeet range. So those are some real iconic spots that are kind of like little surprises for ownership. And we've used them a ton over the years and uh, friends and family love them. There's natural income on the timber. There's plenty of timber just standing there. It has some gas and mineral rights that will transfer with the property. You could run a really great outfitting business for whitetail deer, turkey, and bear. The property is big enough and the state game land is public land. So anybody can hunt. So you really have 7,000 acres with access to another 30,000 acres. So from a client perspective, you have plenty of places to hunt. One of the really unique things that have kind of blossomed over the year in Pennsylvania, specifically in the central part of the state, is the elk population is thriving. On occasion, we've had a bull on trail camera, but we've never really had animals on the property. They're a little bit further south, 15 minute drive to Benazet, and you can watch some gorgeous elk. It's also strategically located from Washington, D.C., Baltimore, Philadelphia, New York, and Pittsburgh. Why have I decided to sell? Really, it came down to two things. Where did I want to spend my time and where can my friends and family spend time with me? I also wanted someone to use the property. And I think maybe when I was younger, I was a little bit selfish. I wanted to protect something that was mine, but I really want to share experiences with people and if I can't use it myself I want someone to experience the property but now that I've invested in the outfitter business in Alaska I'm really excited about this next phase in my life I also was working at Under Armour and I'm not anymore and so I travel a little bit more my kids are older we're gonna travel so I decided you know what Kip let's put it out there maybe entertain the idea it has to be the right buyer for me. So I think the change in my investment in Alaska and where I'm at in my life, I think I decided maybe the timing was good to sell.